Hi everybody, I'm Michael, and I am playing this game, Sherlock Holmes vs. Arsene Lupin. So let's see if we can solve this puzzle. So the nail of the left thumb, I go three down and five right. So this is obviously the left thumb, so I go one, two, three down, and one, two, three, four, five right, five right. R might be that I start here. Okay, what do I do next, sir? To find the second, it won't take long. A good round picture, good for eating, we'll get it for... What? Okay. Then three down, five right. We'll, we'll try this again. Okay, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. It's got to be this one. It's three. It's like three. Hmm. But what is the next step? Let's use the hint. Click the relevant symbol and Holmes will copy the passage out. A man holding two monkeys. Curious piece. Mm, okay, I did not click the relevant symbol. So it's gotta be somewhere here. I will recopy all of that to better study it. I definitely recognize the distinct cuneiform writing. I must decipher this text. Okay, so I definitely made a mistake there. Okay, so let's see if we can decipher this text. So, Holmes has figured out what the letter E is. I imagine this is... T. T is going to be... I mean, this has got to be the word the, right? T-H-E, 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 T-H-E. Short three-letter word beginning, um, ending in E. So let's see. Oh, man. Okay, can I find that symbol anywhere on this list? Yes, I can. Here's a T. So, okay, now let's go with the letter H. They, um, this is probably a Y. Okay, this is probably a B. Right, so that'd be by, it could be my, but it's, it also shows up twice, so let's go with by. Looks like B is wrong because by the B, by the something. Hmm. It's a very difficult puzzle. How do I go back into it? I need to do. Ah, come on. Game, game, be with me here. The solution is then take the C. Okay. I definitely recognize the dist. That was not a Y. That was, in fact, um, then. So. I can't see the symbol at the same time because this thing covers it up. So then, well, I guess now I know all these other words, which is totally cheating. But let's solve it. I got, I got the correctly, so that's good. So, S is... Somewhere, come on, game. <laughs> See, even if you know what the solution is, it it's difficult. This is clearly not designed for um, you to type on your computer because that would be super easy. No, that's not and. Um, and is no. Then okay, let's go with the K. Take the C and something, and I guess B is incorrect. So in or on, perhaps, and something the something. Yeah, in or on, in. This is probably release, no, and blank in. Let's see if we can figure this out. Let's think. So. Hmm. 
it's a e on top of yeah let's go with on top of there so let's say that thing is an o because that makes a lot of sense if it's on top of so this is um the p has got to be that sign And this is like an E with a line underneath it. Ooh, and this word's got to be forest. So R is like a dash and another line next to it. Okay, and then this is obviously rocks. So C is just a single line. Then take the C and put it on the rocks. Put it on the rocks, right? It's got to be it. That's not it. This is strange cuneiform writing. Then put it on the rocks and place, so that's an L. And place the force on top of it all. Here is your hill, I imagine. Your, like, yeah, it's gotta be your. Is your hill and go on. I imagine that word's go on, right? What's easier? That can't be B J. Measure, measure it, measure it. Got it. Then take the C. Got it. Then take the C and put it on the rocks and place the force on top of it all. Here's your hill, measure it, and go on. Neo Assyrian stone. Okay, so I can't zoom in on that uh, anymore. So, I've solved the puzzle. Hooray, I'm great, um, I think. So take the C and put it on the rocks and the force on top of it all. I, I don't know what that is. Oh no, sea, rocks, and forest, and that gives me a book. Okay, let's do that. Now this is something we might be able to type in. I must have made a mistake. Time to think. Rocks. I must have made a mistake. Time to think. I have to type all three in at the same time. Here's what I've been looking for. Okay. Whatever. C4, 5. Fortunately, C is not too far from here. I I'm not heading in that direction, Sherlock. Don't be silly. Okay, okay, come on, come on. Hmm. Ah, there we go. It's on the bottom floor now this time. These controls, I must say, are not going my way. I wonder, yeah, I can't make him move. I don't. Yeah, I can't make him move by pressing WASD. That only works in first person mode. We've got some measuring to do. I don't know what I'm doing there, though. <laughs> Let's read the puzzle again. Take the C and put it on the rocks and place your force on top of it all. Here's your hill. Measure and go on. C, rocks, and forests. rocks and then forest and now I measure it I presume that's what I'm supposed to do Seventeen twenty. there 
I measured it properly. 17 centimeter 20. Okay, cool. 1720. So to find a second, it won't take long. A good round picture for eating. We'll get it for a song. Two young girls on an olive tree. Measure the width of this plate, you'll see. Okay, so let's warp to the place where we're seeing plates, which is the permanent exhibition hall. It was uh, down at the end, I believe. Luckily, Sherlock kept kept track of how how long that um because i would never remember 1720 after several minutes and i'm sure it's going to take me several minutes to find the correct the, famous vase. the correct um thing that i'm measuring here vase okay here they are here they are no 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 don't click there wonderful dishes okay which one am i measuring let's find out Okay, a good round picture for eating. Two young girls in an olive tree. Two young girls in an olive tree. That's not too difficult. Fifty-two. There, I measured it properly. Diameter, fifty-two centimeters. All of this must surely have a connection with the books that are found in the reading room. Okay, so clearly those numbers are going to be put together into the reading room. That's what Sherlock said last time. We had a random clue, which which was numbers we enter into this thing. Okay, so let's... Uh, where are those numbers? Where are those numbers? 52. So, 1720, 52. So, 17... Um, do I do the dash? 1720, 52? I must have made a mistake. Time to think. 17, 20, 52. I must have made a mistake. Time to think. How do I enter that? Um, I don't know how to specifically handle the the 17. It says comma here. So 17, comma, but there's no comma. I must have made a mistake. Time to think. Okay, I'm just going to use a hint here. I tried solving it legitimately. So, okay, so the next paragraph apparently tells me to do math. Oh, I'm supposed to do math. Well, so first one by 100, second minus 10. Ah, okay, so it's that math. Okay, so that gives me 1,200. I had the numbers, I couldn't do the math. French cuisine. Okay, so it's in J93. Let's go here in the middle. I've noticed the middle seems to be the best place to go. That way if it's on the top or the bottom, I can easily see it. Whereas if I'm on the top and it's on the first or second, then I wouldn't be able to see it very easily. Man, this library is huge. Sherlock, why did he just turn around? Okay, getting close. This must be just a beastly library to catalog. Okay, I'm looking for something here, I presume. Is there another note? The presence of Lupin in this picture is as anachronistic as the animal he's holding. A koala! He's holding a koala. Well, Holmes has mentioned a koala several times, so... <laughs> Lupin drew himself into that book. That's very cute of him to do that. He drew a picture of himself holding a koala. So where's that koala? It was here. It was right here, right? No, come on, come on, come on. Koala, where's my koala? Come on, Holmes. Koala. A koala. The animal is holding a small piece of paper between its paws. I can be full of water or full of wine. Is this going back to the drinking glass? Nope. The potter gave me a beautiful design. 
I amongst others, and for your sake, you must break me, as I am fake. I've got two handles, but not one cork. On me have... Yeah, what? So let's see what the first step is. Find the fake vase in the collection of vases. It's just opposite of me. Okay, come on. Come on! Jeez. See, this is what I mean by these controls are not working. Okay, so directly opposite of me is... Just random books. Bad news, everybody! Switching the first-person mode uh, caused my game to drop out, and so I missed, uh, well, I missed out, oh, like, five minutes of footage. It's not that bad of a disaster. I don't know. I think, I think going in first-person mode here is a faster way of getting around. It, it might not be the best way of getting around, but it was a slightly faster way of getting around, and it led me to this pot, this pot, which broke. So, now that I have broken the pot, I can solve this puzzle. It's a jigsaw puzzle. So that's what happened in the five minutes. Uh, I'm very sorry my five minutes were not fantastic and, and saved for posterity. So let's see. I'm trying to form this picture. It's a little hard to figure out what this is a picture of. It's clearly a guy. And he's clearly walking. So he must be standing here, right? man must be standing in front and then behind him would be his pet lion yeah see that part doesn't really seem to fit in very well does it hmm yeah and that part doesn't seem to fit in very well either it looks like those two parts ah here we go with those two parts go together to form the center there at the bottom Mm-hmm. So that means uh, the lion's tail would be there relative to anything else. The lion's body would be there relative to anything else. Uh, it looks like this bird is above the uh, tail. So let's move the bird like that. Mm, but then that leaves me the question of what is this supposed to look like? A new message. There we go. What now? Done. Okay, cool. Both bull and lion, guardian and demon, the bearded face of a man strong and true. Wings spread, I hold the next sermon between my sharp claws. I, the Shadu. Okay, sure. Bull, lion, guardian, demon, the bearded face. I have no idea who that refers to, so I need to look for Shadu. In the Egyptian hall, the Shadu are there to greet you. I don't know. I must I've... find something that resembles the description given in the poem. I kind of figured that out on my own. Thank you, Sherlock. But uh, I've never heard of the Shadoo, so let's see if we can find the Shadoo. They are waiting for you. I don't see any. Uh, is this it? Is this it? That could be it. The Shadoo. In Akkadian mythology, they were benevolent demons. Okay. How does that help me solve the puzzle? Colossal bust of Ramesses the Second, Ramesses the Great. Ramesses the Great. Wait, what was that? Hmm. Sorry, I thought I saw something that was of interest, but I was wrong. Aha, there we go. That Shadu is the one I'm looking for. Love how he's just casually strolling over all this broken glass. A piece of paper is still hidden there. Lupin must have prepared his coup for weeks, even if he was obliged to improvise somewhat tonight. Yeah, I mean, yeah! I agree, he must have planned this way in advance. From the youngest Henry Award, half of his number to Edward. Uh, okay, so the first Henry would be the youngest, and then half of his number. The king you did obtain with Richard, whose number is the same. Mine after Charles I to move forward, from John to the first James, cut of Christian names, their numbers plus three will do. This looks like it's some sort of puzzle based on English kings. Uh, I am not familiar with them. The metal case. So we need to go to the metal case. The letter details the exact descriptions. So earlier when he just said it was a bunch of metals, that apparently was our clue. Oh, wrong hall. That apparently was our clue that it these specifically are metals of English royalty. Hmm, 
is. Okay, let's see if we can find them. I think it was here. And now, now we, wow. I love how there's a reset button. Yep. So this is going to, going to uh, involve a lot of back and forth. I'll be doing this in the next video, okay?